Las Vegas, Nevada NBC Below is a transcript of an interview conducted by NBC's Lester Holt with Mike Kronk. Kronk was attending the concert with his friend Rob McIntosh when bullets started flying. Kronk and McIntosh reunited later in the day. Watch the video at the end of the transcript Lester Holt So what was the vibe before you heard the shots Mike Kronk it was great. It's one of those big events where people come all together, all genders and races, to just listen to music, it was awesome Lester Holt and then suddenly, as we have heard on some of the tapes what people said a staccato sound of machine gun fire. Did you recognize it as such Mike first of all it was like fireworks, when the second one came and when my buddy actually got hit then we knew this was serious. Lester then it happens again Mike again, and again, he got hit three times in the chest Lester did he remain conscious Mike yes the whole time. Lester so you have to worry about your own safety, but for him as well Mike correct. Lester tell me what you did. Mike well we are I knew where it came from. We've been around guns enough so we got down on him. He has his finger actually in the bullet hole so we took his shirt off and compressed it. For him and everyone else got down, I said everyone just stay down and don't move. And there was still some shooting somebody said let's get out of here. So people started jumping the fence and there was chaos. So basically everyone got out of there except the people who were wounded or stayed with them. Lester so you were able to take some cover Mike no we were in the open, but we weren't going to leave. Lester was there any sense that these shots were aimed at any particular areas or was he just spraying Mike he was so far away, it was just into a crowd. Lester in the daylight, we can see that window there it busted out, so from there and where you were, he could see everything Mike yes pretty much everybody there. Lester how did you guys get out at some point you had to get your friend medical help. How did you do it Mike everybody basically left there were a few people, three other guys with me, and my buddy, what we had to do was get him over the aluminum fence which would give us some shelter, and then under a stage. So we did that, we got him over the fence under the stage and basically we checked him for exit wounds and kept compression. There were a couple military vets, I don't know if they were doctors, but they were saying let's get him out of here get him into triage so that's what we did. Watch Mike Kronk reunite with his friend, North Pole realtor Rob McIntosh, in this NBC Nightly News video.